Hey, what's going on guys? We've made it to episode two of Max Cash from scratch and we're gonna start it out with getting 40 woodcutting. I needed 36 for the Lost City, but we also needed 40 for Front Make Trials anyway, so we went ahead and got 40. We actually made some cash off this too, so I'll show you all like how many logs we got and like how many nests we got too. So from 15 to 40, we ended up getting 905 logs. We also got five seed nests and one ring nest. Let's go ahead and uh, crack these open and see what we get. Hopefully we get something worth some money. Okay, that was straight up jank right there. Whatever. Still made some cash. Let's go ahead and price check real quick. It's looking like 48k. This quest only takes like 5 minutes. We're about to complete it right here. Let's go in the shed real quick with our drama and staff. And there we go. We just beat the Lost City, which gave us 3 quest points. And actually, let me check something out here. Fairytale Part 1. All we need now is Nature Spirit, but we also need Priest and Apparel before that too. So, I mean, we got a couple more quests. Just completed the priest and the parrot. We got us one quest point and actually put us at 30 quest points. Also 1400 prayer experience. Let's see what prayer level we get to. We got 15 prayer now. That is some sweet experience from a quest. We just completed nature spirit. Got 3k crafting, 2k hit points, and 2k defense. Actually has a couple defense levels too. Hold up. Oh, 39 crafting. 33 hit points and 13 defense. We are now 37 combat. I feel like taking a little bit of a break from questing, so I just bought an imbue to put on the Ring of Wealth. We're actually about to go kill some thugs in the wilderness. They're like a 1 in 64 chance of dropping an easy clue with this ring, so about to test out my luck. Hopefully we get something awesome, and if not, we get a little bit of experience anyway, so we'll see what happens. Dude, check out this gear I just bought. I just bought a full set of black, got the combat bracelet. We're looking like a complete savage right now. <laughs> Hunting some easy clues. Level 37. Man, we need something. Okay, just snagged ourselves the looting bag right there. That's always nice. Oh damn, just missed the level. We just got 20 defense. We actually upgraded the mithril armor now. Well, we just got our first easy clue, and it's probably like the only step we cannot do. We need 20 range for it to wear a coif, so I'm actually about to train some range. I mean, this is going to suck, but I think it'll be worth it. You know, that was actually the perfect clue step to get, because it motivated me to get 20 range. Got it pretty quick. It was 8k for 1k iron darts, so it was like super cheap. We didn't even use them all either. And yeah, we could finally buy that coif and do this clue. Oh shit, that was a two-step easy clue too. This like has so much potential. Like there's iron G, there's uh, Zami pages, all kinds of stuff like that. So I mean, even like gilded monk robes and whatnot. So I guess let's go ahead and see what we get. First clue. Pfft. Hey, we just got 20 range too. I'm about to put that bad bitch on. Yeah, I like that. Oh my god, that took way too long. We just got our second easy clue. We got like five strength levels, I think an attack level too. So let's go ahead and do this easy clue. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. Thugs actually drop a lot of runes and a lot of herbs too. So I mean, right there is like a little 27k extra. Plus whatever we get from the clues. This should be the casket right here. Let's go ahead and get it. Yeah, we just got our second casket. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Ah, 4.5k. That took way too long too. Oh yeah, that was a lot quicker. We just got another easy clue. Just got the third casket right here. Let's see what we get. Lame. 2.7k. Oh, nice. We just hit 40 strength up in here, man. 40 strength looking good. Pretty positive this is our fifth casket, so let's go ahead and see what we get. Oh, there we go. Blue wizard hat T right there. 88k for the fifth one. Nice. I literally did like six kills, ended up getting another casket, so let's go ahead and see what we get. Whoa. Dig side teleports. That was 145k right there. Just got ourselves another casket right here. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Oh, also, we are 50 attack now. And 3.9k. So, we got the 10th casket right here, and like, this was definitely worth it. Right now, we're at 52 attack. We got 40 strength, a couple defense levels, and we made some cash too, so let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what we get. Actually, while we're here, let's go ahead and check the loot tab real quick. I got kind of everything up in one tab right now. This is not accurate. I don't think it's actually 433k, but once we deposit this up in here, plus our fucking long sword and our minor runes, it says we got 450k. I'm about to sell this and see how much we actually make. It's actually looking like we made a little bit more than that 450k. Let's go ahead and collect this right here. Yeah, we made 529k. Once we add that to the cash stack, we've got over 800k right now. We got a 1 mil bank. That's nice, man. I'm about to do some quests now. Just got our first quest done after those clue scrolls. We got six quest points and we completed Merlin's Crystal. Dude, that was a big quest right there. We just completed the Holy Grail. Got us 11k prayer and 15k defense. Also 40 quest points. Let's check out the levels we got. 30 prayer and 33 defense. We are level 52, man. 
Okay. Boys, it's about to get real. We're about to do Dragon Slayer right here. <laughs> I'm like super shitty stats, but this shouldn't be no problem at all. But this will get us 40 defense, which I really wanted, and a couple strength levels. Man, that was a lot easier than I remember. I think last time I did this, I had like way worse stats than this. So just slayed our first dragon, man. That is such a sweet reward. 18k strength, 18k defense. We could also wear room play bodies too. So that was definitely a good quest to do. Oh, let's see what levels we got. We got 40 defense and 44 strength. We're now level 52. Next, I would like to get 50 magic. Right now, I'm 41. It shouldn't take too long, but I'm about to actually test my luck here. Hopefully, get like an obsidian item or something like that because they're actually pretty expensive. The capes are almost 800k, so that would be really awesome. I'm not like really expecting anything, but if we did, it would pay for all this. Let's go ahead and price check it real quick. We're about to spend a little bit of cash on this. It's looking like 162k, so not too bad. There we go. We just got 50 mage. We didn't get any uniques, but they're like 1 in 5, 12, so I definitely didn't expect one. But yeah, 50 mage looks pretty clean, too. Just completed Demon Slayer. It was actually pretty quick. Got us three quest points and also the Silver Light. Man, I don't know what I was thinking. I was working on the Golem. Didn't realize I actually needed 25 Thieving. So I actually just came and completed the Hazel Coat. Got us 1,500 Thieving experience. And we are now 19. I think I could do one more quest to get up to about 21, 22. And then I'll have to like, just bust out the rest. But yeah, still a little quest points too. This right here should be like the last soak we got to get. Actually, we only had to get 24 because I can buy a Bandit's Brew from the Grand Exchange, which gives me a one boost, so we should be good now. Just completed the Golem. It got us 1k crafting, 1k thieving. Also, got us 47 quest points and one thieving level. This was a super sweet quest to get out of the way. We actually get 10k experience in one skill. I'm actually going to put it in range because this should give me from like level 20 to 30. And that's a part of Recipe for Disaster too, so let's check it real quick. Yeah, we just got 30 range right there. Nice. Just trying to make a little bit of cash. Killed a little bit of thugs earlier. Got that easy clue. And we also filled up this looting bag. So we actually got some decent cash. Let's go ahead and price check all this. Uh, go to Edgeville. And we are also a 55 attack too. Let's throw all this up in here. Hold up. We got 84k right there. Plus the looting bag is 86k. Nice. Got the casket from that easy clue. Let's go ahead and see what we get. <laughs> okay. Just missed that level, but we just got 56 attack. I'm slowly going for 58, because once we hit 58, we could actually quest up to 60 for the dragon skimmy. That'll be super awesome. That's why I'm like kind of holding back on strength. Probably not the best move, but just kind of want to get out of the way. Easy clues are straight up bank, man. Check this out. 1.5k off that. Hell yeah. Man, I've been banging out some easy clues. We did another 7 since we started this back up again, and we just hit 57 attack right there. We only got 3 more levels for that dragon skimmy. I can't wait. But uh, yeah, the loots have been super shit. I'm going to do three more and hopefully get some because I'm just like not satisfied with what's going on right now. Don't even have a reason why, but I just came out of the wilderness to crack open this 18th clue scroll. So let's go ahead and see what we get. I'm in the wilderness for no reason. Well, maybe it fucking works. That's like 108k. That's like the best clue I think we've got so far. Wait, no, I think those dig site teleports a little bit more, but still. Wooden kite shield G or wooden shield G. Nice. It was probably just luck, but I'm coming back out to the wilderness again. We just got the casket number 19. Let's go ahead and crack it open. <laughs> we got our first page, Guthic's page. Okay. Still 9k. This last clue has taken forever to get, but uh, we're about to get an attack level like right here. Pretty close to it. One more hit, probably. Yeah, there we go. We just got 58 attack. We're still a little 59 now. This last clue took so long to get. We actually made some decent cash just off the regular thugs. We made 91k from the looting bag. And yeah, this is casket number 20, I'm pretty sure. For another Guthics page. It took about 45 minutes for a 4k clue. <laughs> but we are 13k to 59 attack. From the three attack levels and 10 easy clues, we ended up making 623k. I'm about to sell this and then we should over over a mil cash. That'll be nice. Man, a lot of this stuff actually sold under price, so I don't even think we made 600k. Let's go ahead and collect it. Oh, we made 599k. Alright. But once we add that to the cash stack, we have got... It's looking like 1.8 mil. I'm actually about to invest this in some green D odds. Ended up buying 695. We still had a little bit of cash to spare to actually tan them, so so much cash we make off this. Dude, I apologize if you guys were hearing background noise for the past like 10 clips, but I had like my heater on. I didn't even realize it till like right now, but I know it's kind of loud. So sorry about that. All right, so I spent my cash stack three times. We ended up making about 220K. So like it definitely wasn't the best, but it was pretty easy cash. And now I'm about to buy like 100 Dragon Bones, about to get overhead prayers. 
And then I want to go for Monkey Madness too, because we're so close to 60 attack in that dragon skin. <laughs> That's going to be so awesome, man. I can't wait. Monkey Madness, not Monkey Madness 2. I got a little ahead of myself right there. <laughs> I don't think we're ready for all that. About to get a pretty big level. Just one more bone. There we go. He's got 43 prayer. That gives us protect from melee. We can actually beat Monkey Madness 2. Monkey Madness 2. I keep on saying that. Just regular Monkey Madness. But I think I got enough bones for 44. I might as well go get that. Yeah, we snagged the 44 for the Eagle Eye. Hell yeah. Man, this quest wasn't nearly as bad as I remember. It's been a while since we did it. We just got three quest points. Completed Monkey Madness. Got 10k GP. And I'm seriously hoping the experience from that train actually gets me 60. We're going to be super close if not. I think we're going to be like 5k off, which kind of sucks, but about to have that dragon skimming, man. This is awesome. We're going to go ahead and focus the train on attack and defense, so I'm hoping this gets it right here. Yeah, I don't think we got it. Damn it. Let's see how far we are. 15, we're only 4k away. <laughs> That's so close. I might actually be the vampire slayer just to go ahead and get that 60 real quick. But still, man, we got 46 defense, 47 strength, 59 attack. Council was 61 looking good right now. There we go. Just completed the Vampire Slayer, guys. 4.8k attack experience and also 3 quest points. We got 54 quest points already. And we just got 60 attack for that dragon skimming, man. I'm about to go buy it real quick. Went ahead and snagged the dagger, too. So let's go ahead and collect this real quick. This is like the moment of truth, man. We've been like grinding for a minute for this. I mean, it really didn't take too long, but it's still like nice to get out of the way on the second episode. So, got our D skimmy. Let's zoom in on that shit. This is like the thumbnail right here, looking like a savage. And we got the DDS for those specs. Yeah, man. Uh, definitely got a lot of stuff to do, so I'm not sure what to go for next. But I'm going to think about it, and we got the D skimmy, man. Okay. After getting that dragon skin guitar, I was kind of wondering what to do. I decided to come to the sand crabs. We got quite a few levels. Let's go ahead and get the first one real quick. Right there, we just got 50 defense, so that was 4 defense levels, and also, hold on, we got 59 strength, we're level 70 combat, and yeah, we got 12 strength levels, so I figured it was just kind of chill here, decided to come AFK, it was kind of a struggle, everyone's like trying to crash your spot, like I didn't really realize how like rough this spot was, but uh, yeah, it takes quite some time to find an open area. Not sure why it took me so long to do this, but we just completed the Varric Museum, which actually got me 9 Slayer and 9 Hunter right off the bat. That's like super nice to start it out too. I think I need 18 for Animal Magnetism, so I'm going to go for that eventually. I want to get that backpack so I can start Transmarange. I'm actually about to attempt to get my first task ever. Uh, basically, I got 70 combat so I could use Chandler, and I'm hoping I can skip Turtle. I can't remember though. Let's go ahead and try real quick. Hopefully not Bronze Dragons. We just got Cow Fights. That's like the perfect task. Needed 18 Slayer for Animal Magnetism. Ended up getting 21. I'm actually about to roll out, beat Ernest the Chicken. Then go start that Animal Magnetism, get that backpack for range. Because, I mean, like, it's not about the Slayer right now. We got to get some skill and we got to get some quests done. Like, we've got so much to do. The cash is going to come. So, I mean, I apologize for not making a whole lot of cash this video. But we did a lot of quests, man. So, yeah, about to do some more. Hey, Ernest the Chicken's four quest points. That's pretty nice. Just knocked out a pretty beautiful quest. We just completed Animal Magnetism, which unlocked the Attractor. We need to get 50 range for that Accumulator, but yeah, we got some experience right here, too. We got 1,000 Crafting, Fletching, and Slayer, and 2,500 Woodcutting experience. So, let's see if we got any levels. 23 Slayer, non-Fletching, and that's it. But we got the Backpack, man. That's going to be so nice for range. Just completed one of the pre-quests for Recipe for Disaster. This is Goblin Diplomacy. He gave me five quest points. Needed 30 fire making for the sea slug quest, just got that. And we also got a seed nest, let's go ahead and see what we get. Ooh, a willow, see that's not bad. But uh, yeah, about to go beat some more quests. This is actually a great starter quest. It gives you 7k fishing experience from level 1. So we're about to go from level 1 to 24 without doing any fishing at all. Okay. This is another RFD requirement, 2.4k fishing experience too. So let's go ahead and see what that got us to. Uh, got us to 26 fishing. Yeah, so I can imagine this video is getting pretty damn long. Right now, we got 66 quest points. We're level 70 combat. We got the dragon skimmy. The account's looking pretty good. 637 total. About to show you all the bank real quick. Nothing too special, but it says 1.3 mil. 700k cash. We got a rune set, dragon skimmy. Some basic range gear. Couple potions. Nothing too special, but yeah, man. We did a lot of work, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like. Subscribe if you're new. We're almost at 3k subscribers, which is pretty crazy. So thank y'all so much. And also, if you guys are bored chilling, I want you guys to jump in the clan chat. Chill with me. Motivate me. Maybe we can do some boss in the future. And yeah, seriously guys, thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all pretty soon. 
I've got these pre-recorded, so they'll be pumping out pretty quick. So, again, thank you all for watching. Later.